Swinburne University of Technology. Hi and welcome to Swinburne Codecasts. I'm Andrew Kane. And I'm Jake. And in this video, we'll be looking at control flow. So far, our programs have been a sequence of instructions that always perform the same task. Yeah, and that's been really cool so far. But wouldn't it be great if we could alter the sequence that our instructions run? Yeah, we can use control flow statements to do that. That allows us to provide points in the code where we make a decision and we run some code or don't run the code and allows us to have loops where we repeat code a number of times. Yeah, so I'm writing this uh, circle moving program, but I'm having a lot of troubles getting the circle to even move. So let's have a look through swing game. So what we have here is a basic swing game program. It shows a window, clears the screen, refreshes and delays for two seconds. Cool, but I don't really want it to run for two seconds. I want it to run until my user exits my program. All right, and we can do that by using a loop. So rather than having the program just run that sequence of instructions and delay, we can tell it that we want to repeat these instructions until the user has closed the window. Cool, that sounds perfect. Now, one thing that we have introduced here is a call to process events. Okay. So process events is checking all of the things that have happened to your window in this case, yep. since the last time that process events was called. So this is kind of detecting the exit click. Yeah, and it'll also check other things like key presses, mouse moves, networking code, that, or messages that are sent over the network, that sort of thing. Cool. And this kind of structure is sort of central to all windowed applications. Right. So anything you've used on you know, Mac, Windows, your phones, etc., all have this idea of an event loop, and they all work the same way. Get the event, do something with that event. Perfect. So when I've run this program, I can see now it's just staying there until yeah. I click the So, so let's, let's count, yeah? One, uh, two. two. So it's it's way more there. than two yeah. seconds. It's still there. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. So now when we close the window... It exits. It exits. Cool. Yeah. But I'm still not drawing my circle, so can we get that circle in there now? Yeah, so what we can do is we can add a variable for X because okay. you want to move the circle yep, around. Exactly. You probably have one for Y as well, but we'll leave that for other yep, people to play with. Yeah, let's just demonstrate it with X. Yeah. Uh, and we can then add code into that repeat loop between where we clear the screen and where we refresh the screen that draws the circle. So each time through the loop, we actually clear the whole screen, get rid of everything, yep. redraw the circle, and then show the user what we've done. Cool. So uh, now that my circle's been uh, drawn, can yep. we maybe move it to see if that will work with my X variable? Yeah, so why don't we, each time through the loop, we can subtract one from the value of so X. So that should move it off the screen towards the left. Yes, so cool. we'll move it towards the left and then off the screen. Yeah, so we uh, put in this x equals x minus 1, and so every time the loop runs, it subtracts 1 from x, and yep. that moves the circle off the screen. That's correct. Cool. And so when we run that, we can see the circle disappears. Perfect. But what I really want to do is only move off the screen or towards off the screen when my left key is being pressed. Okay, so we can use a branching statement for this. And so okay. the way we can think about that is rather than when the key is held down, we say if the key is held down. Okay. Because remember the computer is executing the instructions one at a time. Yep. And so it's only at that point when it checks if the key is held down. Right. And if it is held down, we subtract one from X, which has the effect of moving our circle. That's correct. Cool. Whereas if it's not held down, then that code is actually skipped. And so the value of X remains the same. And so the, posi the position of the circle would remain constant. So this is one of those branches of code you were talking about earlier. That's correct. We're only doing the subtraction at a certain time. Yeah, cool. if this condition if the, is if met. If the button is down. We can also add the same code in to move it to the right. Yep. In this case, we'll check if the right arrow is held down and we can add one to the value of X and that will push it off to the screen to the right-hand side. So now when we run this, we can see... Holding left moves it left. Yep, Holding so if I right, hold down left, yep, yep, moves, left. moves left. Right, right. Yep. What about both? So if we hold down both, I think that's actually quite cool. So if we hold down both, look. It's just not moving. But that's perfect. What it's actually doing is moving it to the left one pixel. Yep. And then we move it to the right one pixel. But we only draw the circle at the end of those instructions. So that's right. it doesn't appear to move. That's correct. But it has moved. Correct. It moved left and right. But we just drew it at the end. That's correct. Perfect. Okay, right. that's the end of this video on control flow. Uh, we've looked at the idea of using control flow to repeat code using instructions. Yep. And there's actually two different statements for that. Cool. Uh, one that checks after the loop, which is the one we were looking at here. And one that checks before, which is the while loop. Cool. Uh, and we have 
also got branches. So branches may let you make a decision and either choose to run code or not to run that code. Yeah. Uh, we've looked at using the if statement for that. There's also a case statement version. Yeah, and we actually have individual videos on each of those topics. So if, case, repeat, and, and while. Yeah, yeah, we have videos to You can guys go watch some more details on those topics. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. Bye. This has been a Spindle production. Not as good as our first take.